Hey, I want to make a video demoing a new script that I made. This script does an automatic installation of AMD drivers on Hive OS and uh, Ubuntu-like OSs. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. So this script currently has 11 options for different drivers that you can download directly from Hive OS's repositories. If you need further help, you can go on the Hive OS forum and you can find my post and you can leave a comment below and if you have any if you have any bugs, uh, leave a comment with a uh, description of what's going on and I'll see if I can help you troubleshoot it. But essentially to get this script running, you need to run these three commands. The first command would be a wget to download the script. The next command is a uh, chmod ex plus execution rights, so you can execute the script. And lastly, you would run uh, dot slash amd, which would, or dot slash amd underscore install, which would install the amd drivers for you. So let me demo this. As you can see over here, this is uh, my miner, and it's running an AMD version 17.50. So let's update the drivers on this one. So in order to do this, you're going to have to SSH into the miner. Uh, you can, if you're local, you would have to do it through PuTTY or Mobile X Term, or if you want to do it through the browser, you can. Select Hive Start or Hive Shell Start, and that would start the shell for you. In my situation, I'm local to the machine, so I'm going to open up the shell, and I've already SSH'd into the machine, and I've already run the uh, wget in the chmod command. So as you can see, the AMD install script has execution rights, so it's indeed runnable. So let's clear the screen. And let me uh, run the script. So let's demo how this goes. So enter your choice of drivers. Uh, I'm going to select number eight. Now let's see how this goes. This is going to take a few minutes to go through. I'm going to show you how the entire process looks like. Another thing to note is version 18.2, version 18.4, Asian 18.5 require an updated version of Ubuntu version 18. So if you're not running uh, the bleeding edge OS, you're not going to be able to install 9, 10, and 11. So you would have to install the bleeding edge OS in order to install those drivers. But for, a, uh, for RX cards, you can install any any version between 16.4 to version 18.1 on the current uh, stock version of Ubuntu that comes with Hive OS. Now that now that it's done downloading, it's going to ask you whether you're installing RX cards, RX 4 400 series or 500 series. Uh, in my situation, I am, so I'm going to select yes. Now it's asking me if I want to remove the current drivers that are installed. I do want to, so that's a yes. 
Do I want to continue? Yes. Looks like it's working as it should. Uh, my script does fix a lot of the uh, issues that are in AMD's install script that they provide to the public. There's a few bugs in it, so it fixes some of the 32-bit uh, de dependency issues that you have with those libraries. This is going to take a few more minutes to uh, finish. If you see this part where you see like uh, the progress bar at the bottom and it's loading, that's a very good sign. That means the drivers are in fact installing. Uh, this is probably the part that takes uh, the longest in the entire process. You might see it hang at a percentage for a lot longer than you than it should, but I would not worry about that. Usually when installing drivers, systems appear to hang, but they're not actually. And finally, it's done. So it's going to tell you what version is installed right now, which is 18.1, which is the version I selected. And in order to finalize your installation, you're going to want to type in system CTL reboot. That's going to reboot the miner. Now let's give it a second or two to reboot. In the meantime, I'm going to go to Hive OS. And just wait a second. So as you can see, it still shows 17.5, but when it reboots and get, comes back online, we should see the new drivers. This will take uh, about a minute. Let's see if I can SSH into it yet. Yeah, it's booting up. And as you can see here, it says 18.10. So the drivers have been updated using my script. Uh, I hope you find this script helpful to you. It'll greatly improve the update or downgrade process for your drivers, whether if you want to update or, you know, downgrade them, whatever. So I hope this was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, leave comments below, and please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.